I am driving home my brand new Ford F-350 Tremor, which for the record, when I knew the Tremor was released last summer, as far as them showing they'd have production for 2020. This is my 2020 Ford F-350 Tremor that I just picked up this evening. And this is a really, really nice truck. I've had many different style trucks over the years. Rams especially. Kind of went over, kind of got away from Ram here actually about two years ago and got on a Ford. I do like Ram, so it's not a thing about me uh, being bad mouthing Ram by any means. I just wanted to change up in the type of truck that I drive, which the Ford definitely gives you a, definitely a, a nice change up. And what's incredible here is last late summer, they showed the Tremor being available for 2020. And I always thought it was a F-250 package, but come to find out you can get this actually in the F-350, which uh, that's really cool. And believe it or not, the F-350 really does ride really well. So even though you, you told me this and I was on the other side of this camera right now and you said, hey, <laughs> it's an F-350, I'd be like, oh my gosh, you can make a brick, but it's not. It really does ride very similar to the F-250 because I've driven that as well. And this is the new 7.3 gas motor, which I really like actually and uh i have the diesels as well and i'm really impressed on how much power this truck has the new 10 speed auto the uh lifted suspension factory suspension i believe it's a two inch lift with an extra spring with uh, upgraded shocks and it's interesting i've seen other videos out there where people are saying this truck is only lifted in the front but I don't believe that because the truck actually leans forward. So if this truck was tilting back more than front, then I would kind of believe that, but it's definitely an all around suspension lift. And another nice thing they did was, this was not my order, the dealer ordered the truck. It actually was DX'd out from another dealer that's, you know, same company, but they swapped out trucks. And uh, I really like this uh, color interior, the almond, if you want to call it almond, I'm not sure the exact name. I'll look at that on my build sheet here, a price sticker, and uh, so I really like that setup. And then they did the back with the uh, the toolbox area where you can put a lot of stuff in here. This is a really nice option, and it has factory uh, rubber mats in it. And this is the carpeting ones that are underneath this here, and it has the panoramic. Uh, roof in it which is really nice so when you're inside this truck you have a really nice uh, feel to the truck and being really light and open and you don't have that dark uh, that dark sensation which you get in a lot of vehicles with dark colored interiors slide rear window has the uh, heated rear window defrost capability nice little uh, wood deco there for the trim and has the Raptor style um, steps, which kind of wish it had the electric steps, which you can get that as an option. So that would be uh, really nice because this is a heck of a uh, step. I mean, this is not for the lazy man to get up in this truck. I mean, you really do have to jump up in this truck to get into it, grab the handle there and sit down in it. And uh, truck was delivered from another dealer. So it had some miles on it, but uh, not a real big deal. But something I'm really curious about is the home link. I don't see a home link on this. They're usually here for your uh, garage door opener, gates, whatever it may be. And even up here, I don't see any buttons. So I was kind of amazed, this being a Lariat um, setup, that you didn't have uh, that capability. I've got the adaptive cruise control, which that's really nice. This has the 18 inch wheel on it, which is interesting, but I understand why 
Usually these trucks today come with 20s, 21s, 22s. The 18 inch wheel definitely gives you a little better uh, impact on the bigger tire appeal and gives you a little more broader range of what tire. And it has a nice, uh, easy release tailgate. And we realize or not, that's an option. <laughs> we start pricing these trucks out, which I did look at a lesser option truck out and the tailgate just slams down it doesn't have that easy assist uh lower the tailgate and then of course it has a nice uh, old man stick here where you pull this out this really is handy with a truck this size wow look at that it's tight so that's really nice and you yeah, even though even my good lord i'm actually i'm on the ground i mean that's crazy so uh <laughs> Spray in Bedliner Factory. And here's the big old 7.3 motor. The last gas motor I had was in 2000. I had a Ford F350 dually and I had the V10 motor in it. So it looks to me like you'd have, I don't know, you know, it's questionable on that. I guess supercharger would fit in there, taking that manifold off, but don't know for sure, but I would think so. A lot of technology in there. Nice uh, air intake right here. You can see the air filter. One battery. Now I've got the F250, the F3, or the F450 with the diesels in them, and no doubt, you know, the towing capacity, the torque, you know, that's a whole, whole bigger, you know, bigger application, but that diesel engine is significant on the feel in this truck, meaning this gas engine is, I think, about 400 pounds lighter. And you really can feel that when you're driving down the road. And uh, just a really fun truck. Got the LED light assembly uh, set up. That's really nice. Got the nice chrome accents on the mirrors, which that's really cool. And of course, these expand out and expand back in, fold in. Got your keyless entry. Okay, have some really good Goodyear Wrangler tire. This is usually about that wide, and the reason is this doesn't have the tow capacity. Um, so they're saying back here, 15.2. So, you know, this isn't the... Uh, set up because the gas engine to be able to tow your 20 plus thousand uh gvw and what people don't know about that though is <laughs> once you cross that uh 24,000, i believe it is or 20 i think it's 26,000 gvw meaning truck and trailer you're in cdl territory cdl commercial driver's license which means if you hook up your trailer behind this truck that let's just say weighs 14,000 or 16,000 pounds. They typically take the front axle weight or GVW capability and they add those together. And if you have a diesel truck, I know those are usually rated about 14,000 uh, GVW. See that axle up there? And so if you got a 14,000 pound trailer behind you, then you now have a problem. You're 28,000. GVW, you're over CDL capability. You gotta be at 26 or less, and you gotta get a CDL license. So, it's just something for anybody out there watching this video, some people forget that these big GVW diesel trucks have this huge tow capacity. You can't utilize it unless you get a CDL license. So, but I don't think most people do anyways, as far as I think 10, 12,000, maybe 14. So, something to think about. Looking up underneath here, look at that. There's your block for the rear springs. That looks like a good two inch block. There's your lift. 
And then look here, you got a really nice spare tire that's actually just like the rest of the tires. So you have five original size tires, but you don't get that once you lift your truck because the spare tire, because you go to a 37 inch tire like I was talking about earlier, you won't be able to fit that underneath here. So you'll never have a correct spare if you get a flat and you're on a long trip, that's not good. You have different revolutions from one wheel to the other one. Solid axle back here. And then you got the nice tremor shock set up. That's really nice. Look at that. Wow. You got one, two, three. Close to four different back backflow, meaning you got looks like the resonator up there, another resonator, the muffler, another resonator here. Wow. Boy, I tell you, if you put a custom exhaust on this, this thing would probably open up pretty decently. You may get our 10, 15 horsepower out of this thing, maybe. Put the right air filter in it, maybe get 20. That'd be pretty badass, actually. Nice, good sized fuel tank. My guess is, thing's probably about a 32, maybe 34. Another thing this thing has is a backup alarm. <laughs> it's crazy. It's an F-350 truck. And when you put her in reverse, she has a backup noise. <laughs> like you're a big commercial truck, which to the degree she is, I wonder where that little device is back here. There it is, right there. I could probably disable that. I'm not excited about that in all sincereness. <laughs>